According to science, what are the perks of being a good person? As it turns out, doing good things for other people doesn't just benefit them. It's also really good for you in many different ways. Number one, spending money on others makes us happier compared to spending money on ourselves. In this study, participants were given either $20 or $5 to spend before 5 p.m. that day. And while some of the participants were told to spend money on themselves, other participants were told to spend their money on someone else, otherwise known as pro-social spending. The researchers found that it wasn't the amount of money that predicted happiness that day. It was simply spending money on someone else, whether it was $5 or $20. This study is powerful because it highlights the importance of generosity in achieving happiness, and it also offers a practical takeaway. The next time you want to feel a little bit happier, consider spending a little bit of money on someone else, whether it's shouting their drink or donating money. Number two, acts of kindness and doing good things for other people can lead to lasting happiness. When you do something kind for someone else and you can see the positive impact that it had on them, sometimes this can give you that little buzz of happiness. But according to research, doing these little acts of kindness can also result in lasting happiness. In this study, participants were randomly assigned to either an experimental group or a control group. In the experimental group, participants were instructed to complete five acts of kindness each week over a six week period. Happiness levels were repeatedly assessed throughout the study, including at the six week mark. And for those participants in the control group, they simply did these happiness assessments. Examples of these acts of kindness include visiting an elderly relative, um, writing a thank you note, donating blood, or helping a friend with an assignment. What did the researchers find? Participants who completed the five acts of kindness per week um, over the six week period reported significantly high levels of happiness and life satisfaction compared to the control group. And on top of that, the happiness boost didn't just occur after the acts of kindness, it also lasted for weeks. What can you take from this? Well, if you want longer lasting happiness, try doing little acts of kindness each week. Number three, helping other people is good for your health and it might even help you live longer. This study found that when you're older, helping other people is more beneficial to your health compared to other people helping you. The researchers followed a group of 846 elderly adults over a five year period. And in particular, they were interested in these two things. First of all, with these elderly adults, how much support did they give other people? And second, how much support did they receive from other people? Then the researchers tracked mortality, so who lived, who passed away, to determine whether giving support or receiving support was more strongly linked to living a longer life. They found that those elderly adults who had a tendency to help others had a significantly lower risk of dying uh, throughout the study period compared to those elderly adults who didn't help others. Interestingly, being helped by others didn't have that same protective effect on health. And yes, the researchers did make sure to control for certain variables such as age, gender and health. So when thinking of those elderly adults who didn't really help anyone else, it's not necessarily because they had bad health. Number four, being pro-social can give your life a sense of meaning. Everyone wants to feel like their life has some meaning to it. Does doing good things for other people make your life feel more meaningful? Apparently, yes. The first study had a sample of approximately 1,400 participants. Each participant reported on how much volunteer work they do per month. And they also reported on how much they agree with the statement. My life has a real purpose. After controlling for certain demographic variables, such as education, religion, and income, it was found that regular volunteering was associated with a stronger belief that one's life has a purpose. But obviously, correlation doesn't mean causation. This is where the next study comes in. Participants were randomly assigned to either a pro-social group or a self-interested group. All participants were given $5. In the pro-social group, participants were told to spend their money on someone else. In the self-interested group, participants were told to spend the $5 on themselves. Afterwards, the participants completed the meaning of life questionnaire. What did the researchers find? 
those participants who spent their $5 on someone else had a significantly higher score for meaning of life compared to those participants who were told to spend the $5 on themselves. In the third study, this was pretty much identical to the second study, except that they, in addition to the meaning of life questionnaire, um, added in other measures. What did the researchers find? They found that those participants who spent their $5 on someone else not only had a higher score for meaning of life, they also had higher scores for self-worth and social connection. What to take away from this? Doing good things for other people can give you a stronger sense of purpose, social connection, and self-worth. Number five, the ripple effect. This is like in the movie, Pay It Forward. Have you seen it? It's basically about this young boy named Trevor who comes up with this idea of paying it forward. So um, when someone does something nice for you, instead of paying them back, you then go off and help three other people. And the idea is that these three people will then go off and help three other people and so on. The findings of this study reflect this idea of paying it forward. Basically, it investigated how cooperative pro-social behavior can spread within social networks. The researchers wanted to see whether one person's act of kindness and cooperation can inspire others to act in the same way, essentially creating a ripple effect of kindness and cooperation. The study used a public goods game, which is a common experiment used in behavioral economics, basically to experiment with whether people contribute to a group fund or if they instead choose uh, to act selfishly. Participants were placed into groups where they were given opportunities to either contribute or to act selfishly by keeping resources to themselves. The researchers then reshuffled the groups and repeated the experiment several times, basically to see whether cooperative behavior in one round influenced future behavior in new groups. What did the researchers find? They found that when one person chose to cooperate and act generously, this inspired people within the same group to behave in the same way, even in subsequent rounds with new people. What to take away from this? These findings suggest that there may actually be some truth to the concept of paying it forward, where your act of generosity can create a positive ripple effect. To sum up, there are clear and obvious advantages when it comes to doing good things for other people. And maybe this shouldn't be surprising, considering that for us humans, we are very much social creatures. That said though, there is a danger in trying to do good things for people who just want to take advantage. So it's also important to look out for those signs of someone who just wants to use you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me do more videos on how you can live a happier, better life according to psychology and data.